crazy. Budget. Shock. I'm here with the support of Black Lives Matter's um, leadership. Uh, we're just here to show our support, first of all, for the community, uh, and let them know that we're going to take a firm stand against police violence, brutality. Uh, first and foremost, I think Stop and Frisk sends a, a message of, of a mistrust. Um, it sends a, a message of um, discrimination. It sends a message of, of hate. It just really stuck out to me that like we have a, we live in a society that stigmatizes black men. This problem has been going on with people being shot and profiled by the police since before my time of my father and grandparents. Now to our modern time, and we want to make sure that it doesn't go to the next generation. The facts are, are there. The statistics are there to prove that this is a systematic issue um, that's impacting our community. <laughs> Nice. Yes, the lawyers. Thank you, King. Thank you all for coming out tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Among the many reasons we're all here tonight is to call for three key reforms from the Boston Police Department and Mayor Walsh as a starting point of this movement. Number one, we want all police officers to wear body worn cameras with every encounter. Over the last six months, I've been stopped three times for the police. Um, each time I was asked if the car that I was driving was my own. And towards the end of, the, of each interaction, I was given nothing but a ticket or, just, or someone just drove off. Stop and Frisk sends a message, if you heard some of the young people who were talking earlier, that you're not part of society and that the rules that are made don't apply to you and the Constitution doesn't apply to you. It sends the message that you don't belong here. Every time one, per, one black boy is shot, it affects a thousand people. Mobilizing and at rallies and grouping up together is a way of us healing. We want stop and frisk to end and we want the violence that's committed against people in the community to stop. Then to say to me, my child's death wasn't violent. It was to me because my life was silence. As my story comes to an end, how do I tell my 10-year-old, police are your friend? Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! I want them to hear this in Ferguson. Hands up! Don't shoot! 